Someone wrote on YouTube, The basic principle of physics says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So does this mean that the universe already contains all the souls that it can? Can new souls be brought into existence by God? And if so, then doesn't that contradict the law of physics? Yes, law of physics is right. New soul cannot be brought in. You have to go to the Gita, which is very popular in Hindu culture. I like to quote it. Na asato vidyate bhavo, na bhavo vidyate sta. The which exist, nobody can make that existence to be non-existence. And which doesn't exist, which doesn't exist, will never will exist here. So it means the souls are always existing. If they were not existing, they cannot be existed later. They are always existing. Nobody can make it. Which is exist is will always exist. Which doesn't exist never will exist here. So the law of physics is right. And let me tell you, the souls are infinite. Infinite is never ending. Even though out of infinite, infinite merges with God already, already merged with God, is still remaining infinite. Infinite, you have to understand, it is never ending. That's why this world is eternal. This universe is eternal. It will be eternal because souls will be always here. And God doesn't create soul. God doesn't, according to the Gita, on this line, na sato vidyate bhavo, that which doesn't exist cannot be brought in existence cannot be. So it means this universe was always here. That's what we see that the universe exists. And which exists, it will exist forever. That's why I called the universe is eternal. Remember, in this universe only two things are eternal. One is jiva, Jiva is called soul. We don't call Jiva energy though. Even energy, energy can be translated as a matter. The matter, which is also eternal, that's why this universe is visible. Because that matter is in the form of energy. But the soul is totally different. Soul is not energy. Soul is a Chaitanya. Chaitanya means which has sensation, which has feelings, which has, which uh, uh, knows things, knowing. But the matter, which you, in the physics we call it energy, energy doesn't have that knowing power or sensation or feeling. So the both thing, the energy, Plus the jiva, they are, they were existing since beginning. And I say always, this world is beginningless because we don't know where it starts. There is no need because the principle of existing proves itself that it was always there. Because which doesn't exist? never will be existing. And which exist, will exist forever. 
That's what you need to know. So this, this universe existing forever. It means it is beginningless and it is endless. It will be forever. But Jiva is a little different. Jiva means soul. Soul is not energy. Soul is a power behind the energy, behind the matter. When soul and matter becomes together, that's what we are in the form, like human form, animal form, or vegetation form, or the nature, whatever you see, stars, moons. If there are life there, there must be life everywhere. If there is a water or ice, like on the Mars, we found some kind of uh, uh, magnesium or phosphorus or different kind of minerals and ice also. So it means already there is oxygen. There is a water, it means there is bacteria. It's a form of life there already. And when there is form of life, that is called jiva, soul. And soul and matter becomes together. That's what we call it jivatma. When soul and matter are together, it's called jivatma. And when soul minus matter is pure soul, it's called God. It's very simple. So God doesn't create any soul. Or does God doesn't create this universe. It existed. It will exist and it is existing. It is eternal. That's what you need to know. And don't mix energy with the soul. Soul is totally different uh, concept. Not concept, existence. So it is soul, knowing power, sensation power, feeling power, and energy is totally different. But the physics law apply on both. They were here. They existed. They are existing. They will exist. If you want to work on yourself, you want to become from Jivatma to Paramatma, if you want to be, so you work on yourself how to separate this matter from the Jiva, Jivatma. Jivatma can become Paramatma. Paramatma means God, perfect. Paramatma. There is nothing. It is pure soul. soul. Pure soul can become Paramatma if you work on yourself, like if you destroy your karma, how, how to remove your karma. Because karma is a matter, but it is subtle matter. So you have to work on, on different kind of sadhana, spiritual practices. And one day you will realize that soul and energy are the matter, what you call it. They were existing, they are existing, and they will exist, they are eternal. The both elements, both substance, soul and energy, soul or matter, they are eternal and they will be here. So nobody creates them and there is no need to be created. They are here. Just accept it. Beginningless and endless. Eternal.